Hi guys. So welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. In this video, I will be answering one of the most frequently asked questions I get on LinkedIn. So whenever somebody becomes a connection nowadays, they are asking this question only. Tell us any kind of a roadmap, how you prepared, how you got to that, uh, you know, to get the test link and how you attempted Amazon test all the interviews and all that. So. I personally don't like a roadmap and all that. So this is again, my personal opinion. You may have a different opinion to it, but the thing is I would be sharing with you what I have done. So if you think it is fine and you want to go accordingly, then you can do that. All right. So, uh, see my interview was for a fresher. So if you're applying for SD one, you may be having one year, two year experience also. So for such kind of people interview will be different. Okay. So this is particularly for fresher and I don't know whether they're going to change the pattern or not. That's why I don't like giving any kind of a roadmap because if I say that people will strictly follow and then you may lose out on something else and then blame me or, you know, get depressed. So I don't want all that. I'll just be sharing whatever I have done. If you feel you can, uh, you know, get some benefit from it, then it's very good. I'll also be very happy for you. So this is my personal opinion. Just I'm trying to clarify that. Okay. So I'll be sharing all those things, whatever is needed and uh, watch the complete video and please share it with all your friends who have similar kind of doubt. So before I begin the video, I would just like to tell about Coding Ninja's uh, scholarship test. Okay, so there is a scholarship test wherein uh, if you get a good rank, then you may get 100% scholarship for all the courses offered by Coding Ninjas. And because the courses are slightly on higher end, so many people will appear for this and try to get the best opportunity to get one of the you know, there are different kinds of courses, so you can avail huge discount on those things. And also, uh, you know, it's on two days, so 25th and 26th May. So another four days to go. It is at 9 p.m. So if anybody misses on 25th, they can give the test on 26th. And uh, along with the score courses and all, they have, uh, you know, um, ace your coding interview like... Uh, paperback they have and uh, they'll also give uh, you know 1500 worth coding ninja some kind of goodie i guess okay and they'll also give a internship training uh, certificate as you can see over here so if you are interested then you can and the syllabus is actually given here and also the scholarship is mentioned over here you know if you get 1 to 10 rank you will have 100 percent scholarship and so on Okay, so there'll be 30 aptitude questions, MCQs, no negative market, but there is a registration fee. All right. So, so if you want like a discount on the registration fee, you can use this code. Okay. So I'll put all this information in the description of this video. You can use this code and get 50% off on your uh, registration fees. Okay, so many people do take that exam because it is only on aptitude. And if you perform well, you can get a good scholarship and take course of your choice. So all that link is in the description. You can check it out, right? So now let us come back. So first of all, see in Amazon, most of the people I have heard, they say DSA only is most important. So I don't have to stress on this point because all over YouTube, all over internet, everything is DSA, DSA, DSA only. So best is lead code. If you can take premium for one month, that's also fine. All right. So in premium, you can select according to company, according to difficulty. And uh, yeah, you will have other features also like auto correct or debugging, like auto complete, sorry. Right. Geeks for Geeks, obviously everything is there, but in Geeks for Geeks, the thing is, uh, what you can do is you can type Geeks for Geeks medium level problem articles. So then there'll be a list of articles. Now you can just skim through all those articles 
and read every problem if you feel that you have already solved it fine go to next one like this you can you know uh, go through majority of the problems and if you are able to find a difficult question you can think about it and then you know uh, try to solve it so that is one thing i am planning to do like i am going to plan to make a playlist like uh, the name will be geeks for geeks uh, essentials geeks for geeks special over there i will be taking the uh, you know articles wherein they have written a problem or some concept is there and then i will read that i'll understand that and uh, then i'll explain it on my channel so that you guys can you know you don't have to struggle to search on geeks for geeks because there are so many articles and you know there are so many kinds of problems so people get a confusion how much to solve how many questions should i solve if i solve 100 questions is it enough so those kind of questions i don't have any answer that is why what i'm planning is i will put that effort okay to some extent and help you guys to you know uh, uh this one figure out which kind of problems are very unique on that platform only but on geeks for geeks one drawback i find is the answers are not written in a very clear way sometimes so another alternative for geeks for geeks is techydelight.com techydelight.com is very it's a amazing website actually you know it is one of my favorite over there they have given 650 problems and you can according to you know category difficulty you can filter out most common questions and that i also did so i also have used techydelight.com i think you guys will be knowing otherwise i'll put a link in the description it is one of the best websites but all the content is same like geeks for geeks only nothing extraordinary but it is written in a much more systematic and neat way you know user experience is much better interview bit is there now interview bit you can also use to learn uh, you know data structure like some graph or D- dfs bfs like that for those purposes i used because the writing over there is very clear <coughs> excuse me okay some people find hacker earth also nice but interview bit is having everything you can solve problem and do that so that's fine right so majorly i use lead code interview bit geeks for geeks not much only initially when i was learning coding i used but that's what on geeks for geeks there are certain problems article that people usually miss and that is given in the online assessment sometimes that is given in online assessment that people miss so directly if they are giving from geeks for geeks it's ideal to solve that also so i will start a new playlist gfg essentials where i will be solving those problems from uh, very rare articles not rare article but articles which have rare problems hacker rank is there now hacker rank i'm telling because you will sometimes have to write the online test on hacker rank only so it's better if you get a feeling but most of you would have already used hacker rank so it's fine otherwise the i don't think there's any other point right so that's all now aptitude now amazon also had aptitude question you can go for india bix india bix is a good website or actually any online material but here some people like to use book and book for this kind of thing is nice because see in 10th standard 12th standard and all we used to for math so many books right rs agarwal rd sharma and all so we are used to book at, at least i am used to doing all these things in book work. so i like book so i have friends who have prepared for cat and gmat and all they also prepare aptitude right i am not saying the questions will be of that level but basic questions at least will be similar only so you can buy those kind of books and i will tell you what kind of books you can buy in the end of the video so stay tuned till that okay and aptitude try to cover different topics and speed is most important now cs fundamentals gfg course many people take it i also did os dbms computer network but this is only for before placement if you want to learn full concept then gate smasher jenny lectures 
actually any youtube channel everything is there on youtube only so you don't have to worry that much so also on linkedin some people share their personal notes i also have uh, this one you know uh, i have a github link wherein someone has uploaded their notes on all these computer fundamentals so if i find that i'll share that also in the description and you please share this video with all your friends because you know i'll be sharing lot of things in the description so low level design actually in my interviews they didn't ask only otherwise uh, first of all oops should be uh, you know basic so oops you can refer any video so many channels are there so you can do anything uh, you know oops everything is almost the same one more thing is on interview bit there are uh, interview questions like o os interview question java interview question oops interview question you can read from there also 50 questions are there so it is like you know you are reading the topics as well as preparing for interview so that also you can do so interview bit you can go scroll down and you will find lot of sections wherein it is for interview purpose only you know many articles are there but most important make your own notes and use them regularly so making own notes has its own value and that's one of the best things right now for amazon specifically there are leadership principle behavioral question and communication skill is important for any individual and over here communication skill i mean like structured communication like you know what thought you have in your mind are you able to tell clearly so that the other person can understand this usually comes in when you are talking about project project is or internship so project discussion or internship discussion this is helpful situational questions or behavioral questions star method is used over the situation task action result so for this behavioral question also uh, you uh, actually for situation type of questions uh, advice i got from my seniors was that you have to you know uh, you think about whatever you have done in the past and list down at least 5 to 10 things that you can talk about some project some fest some event some hackathon some internship project something something like that you need to list down okay so that is very important leadership principles amazon i think now it has 16 17 i'm not exactly 100% sure 16 i guess so learn about them directly you will be asked some right so for this also i'll share actually you can go to amazon website only everything is clearly mentioned but i'll share in the description also right behavioral questions uh, there are some youtube videos also wherein people have taken different que situational questions and they have given example answers you can build on them only now most important points are revision having patience and confidence so these are the most important off campus you don't know when you will get result you don't know who you are comparing with you don't know uh, who who is your competition nothing you know so ho oh, you have to be patient you have to have self belief and keep revising that's it so i don't know if it was a road map or anything but that's all i can say okay so please share this video with all your friends as much as you can subscribe to the channel put it in your whatsapp groups college groups anywhere and until the next video take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye